Hi, welcome to another session of the uh, Tipco Jasper Soft. Uh, this is Sachin Thomas, and I would like to take you through the, uh, a topic called as external DB authentication. So, in this uh, video, um, what we'll see is uh, external DB authentication overview. We'll try to see how to configure file uh, application context external auth DB MT.xml. MT stands for multi tenancy. We'll also see how to log into um, Tipco Jasper Soft. Sets Jasper server with the credentials which is coming from external database. To go um, uh, first, we'll just check the overview of external DB authentication for how how the um, sequence works. So in this uh, screen, you can see um, we have entities user, we have Jasper server, we have external database, and also we have Jasper server database. So what happens is like when a user tries to request the Jasper server page. It will ask for a login credentials. Once lo login credentials is being uh, put by uh, the user, um, Jasper Server, what it tries to do is through the query, it will try to validate the credentials from external database. So once it gets authenticated, it will further request the user details. And once it receives the user details, it will try to sync the user details roles, um, the tenant details with the Jasper Server database. And once it's synced, it will just authorize the user to uh, to a home page or to any other page what the user has requested. So this is the uh, functional way of how external DB authentication works. Going further, um, we'll also see um, how to configure the file application context. So this file is being provided by JasperSoft. Uh, in, um, in the so if you want, once you download the JasperSoft fold, uh, zip folder, you can see there is a samples folder. Inside samples folder, you have different authentication files. So one of the authentication files is application context, external auth dbmt.xml. So going through this file, I'll just open this file here. Okay, in this file, um, it's it's just a bit ba um, based on the spin uh, spring configuration. So um, so going first, we have an external DA authentication provider. So this bean is responsible for calling. Um, uh, two properties. One is user detail service and password validator. So user detail service is further defined downwards here. User detail service has an, a local reference of external user tenant detail service. Here in this bean ID, external user tenant detail service, the first property is of data source. So data source is nothing but the definition where we call the external data source. So if you just go through search for external data source, which is being defined at the end of this page, um, end of this file. So here you can see external data source. Um, it calls, it just have some uh, properties itself. One is um, the driver class name, the URL, the username and password. So since um, I, for this example, I'm connecting to a MySQL database. So it's having a URL of MySQL and the driver class name accordingly. So going up, uh, so one for the first one is uh, data source, which is an external database definition. Uh, second is users by username, tenants name query. So here is uh, where it tries to retrieve the user credentials. Um, uh, one is the username, password, and the organization ID it belongs. So with this query, it tries to validate the user. Second one is um, authorities by username query. So in this, uh, it trades further user details like the role names, and it will try to sync with um, Jasper Server Repository Database. Um, in this, we have one more. Um, after user detail service, we also have password validator. So password validator uh, itself is a bean here, and password validator is nothing but if your uh, password uh, passwords are stored in an encrypted form in, in your external database, the what this class will do is it will try to uh, uh, decrypt the data uh, as per the configuration as per the values being provided so for example if you provide the secret key um, uh, which is uh, which was used while encrypting the password the key algorithm and cipher transformation so all these values if you just uh, uh, just have these details here and as per the the configuration it will try to decrypt the data decrypt the password so once the password is from the user uh, once the password is 
being entered from the uh, login screen, it will just ma try to match both the passwords. So if the passwords are validated, it will try to um, go further and um, process other uh, beans. Um, so these are the two main um, beans which we need to um, uh, configure and check. And secondly, if, if you don't have uh, the password validator bean and you still you want to go to the plain text which I have uh, been used now, you can just uh, comment out this session. So you can just do a comment uh, here and the comment, comment the whole bean and also you need to comment out uh the the property which is being called from up inside external da authentication provider so you just need to comment here as well so once this is done um if we go further down we have something known as empty external user setup processor so this is uh one step forward where uh where, where you can have a default internal roles also you can have uh, an organization role map so organization role map is uh, we can we will do an example on this default internal roles is uh, we can check once uh, the user logs in we can see that uh, this role underscore user is being uh, uh, granted by default to all the users who logs in through external database authentication okay going further we'll check uh, the database uh, table structure so my database is defined in mysql um, so I'll just log into MySQL with the username password. I have defined a test database, and you can see the tables tables here. So I have tables um, uh, called as organization role user and user role. So our main table is um, user table where we have the username and the passwords defined here. We have uh, table called as organization so here we have the list of organizations defined here we also do have um, the role details so we have some roles defined um, we have a unique id for those roles and we have mapped it with some organization id so that is a tenant id and we have one more table known as select user role. So this is nothing but a mapping of role ID and user ID. So if you run the query here, which is being defined inside the application context file, Okay, we'll, we have this user admin. We'll try to use one more username, which I've defined for this purpose. So this username, um, this uh, query will return username, password, and um, a tenant ID, also known as organization ID. And the second query, Just again asking for an username will return um, HR user and role administrator as an role name. So what we'll try to do is is log into uh, Jasper server using these credentials. So we'll have organization one. We have HR user. We have HR user as password. We'll just log in. Okay, so here we can see that we have uh, we have been logged into the HR user, and uh, if we click on manage users, you can see that this is with the role administrator and role underscore user, which is the default one, and role administrator is being uh, mapped via uh, the external database. So role is a, is a default internal user and role administrator which is being um, passed from the data external database. But before that, um, if you just define here, if, uh, 
And so here you can see that the organization roadmap. So if we just comment this line, what happens is that if you if you uh, assign a role administrator to an user, it will not function. It will not have and privileges of the role administrator. So for that, what you have to do is you have to just remove this uh, comment, and here you need to add as role administrator. So what happens is that it will try to fetch from this from the second query uh, the values of the roles. And what it will do is it will map this role, whatever we have mentioned here, to the role administrator. So in this file, I have already mapped it and restarted the server. Hence, you can see that this HR user role already has this uh, assigned as role administrator. But if you don't have that line, what will happen is that it will just have only a single role that is role underscore user and it will not have the option to manage organization users and roles so this is how the external review works and hope you had a, enough information from this video so thank you very much for your time